This edition of Football Friday is presented by the West Virginia Lottery. When you play, West Virginia wins. And we welcome you into the Friday walkthrough. Tony Caridi along with Coach Dwight Wallace as the Mountaineers get set to take on the Terrapins of Maryland. You take a look at this and it looks as though, Dwight, we've got strength against strength. West Virginia's offense is without question its strength and Maryland's defense. A lot of experienced players over there and they're pretty stingy so far. Well, that's exactly right. I think uh, everyone's anxious to see the matchup because actually Maryland, they've got some pretty good numbers when you took a, take a look at their sacks, their tackle for loss, and play the pass pretty well. We're not too sure they've played against a passing game as good as ours, but we'll find that out on the run. But the flip side of that is our two youth units. Yeah. Our, uh, our defense is youthful, as is their offense, and that could really what it might boil down to are those two units. You talked to the WVU defensive coaches, and I spoke with uh, Joe DeForest last night, and I said, how much have you stepped on that gas pedal yet to put the full package in there? And he says, we haven't even rolled to a yield sign yet. There's a lot more, but this is an important game because it's the last test before league play starts. Well, not a, no question about that. I think that, and he's right, you know, you have to kind of spoon feed them at first, I think, as we get this uh, youth going on our defense. They're concerned about the tackling in the first game, but that got better, and hopefully it'll get better yet. And I think uh, probably looking for a little more pressure now, trying to get to the quarterback, especially this week where we have this young one. We've got a freshman that uh, is struggling a bit as most quarterbacks do, but he's a great athlete. He can do a lot with his feet, and he may start hitting them this week. Who knows? You know, to underscore the youth, they've got 10 turnovers so far through their first three games, all 10 have come from freshman members of this Maryland team, so we'll try to heat them up. And one final note, if you want to watch this game, look for jersey number one on both sides. Of course, West Virginia's Tavon Austin and Maryland's Stephon Diggs, two guys that can make plays every time they touch it. And Diggs in special teams as well as Tavon. So, uh, yeah, special teams could have a key role, too. It always scares me, Tony, as you know, those returns against Maryland. They've, uh, yeah. they've been a problem for us through the years. The ghost of Steve Suter still <laughs> lurks on this field. Kickoff is set for high noon. Pre-game coverage on MSN Radio begins at 11. We invite you to join us. Along with Coach Dwight Wallace, I'm Tony Caridi on WVUSports.com.